back to Bayou Wild TV. We're at White Oak Estate and Gardens with our friend Chef John Foltz. And John, <laughs> I came all the way back from Stuttgart with a speckle belly goose, and I drive up here, and you got a whole pond full of geese. <laughs> Although they're Canada's. You got to you gotta walk through those uh, uh, Canadian geese out there, boy. I tell you, they took over my whole White Oak Estate. I, I bet I have a thousand of them. Well, they were giving me a wide berth. <laughs> it must be my reputation following me. Well, we're going to do this speckle belly yeah. Holly Beach style. Tell me about it. Absolutely. Well, you know where Holly Beach is. I, know I mean, exactly one of those where it is. a lot of great hunting camps in that area, uh -huh. and you can imagine how many great uh, hunters out there are, are cooking this uh, goose. But this is a, a recipe that comes from my grandfather's side of the family. He was a, all of my family big hunters, obviously, mm -hmm. but my grandfather loved goose. And uh, and I I'll never forget one of the great Christmas traditions were the, the big two or three platters of big roasted goose in different ways on the table. So I've always had a love for it. And of course, here we have uh, one of these uh, these uh, babies. So you want to season, season it up good for us, huh? Just a little salt, pepper, just throw it on in there, get some in. Uh, uh, they don't come pre-seasoned. You got to get it in there. A little, little, <laughs> little pepper. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, because uh, it's, it's going into a full body of the bird, you can, you can put a little excess of the salt and pepper in, mm -hmm. and granulated garlic as we- How much as of the, this you go with? Uh, huh? Much as you want because oh, it's- I like two it, Because those, remember, yeah. that carcass in there is gonna hold back a lot of the seasoning into the meat. So we season the inside first, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the outside. So Don, just go ahead and put a little bit more of that seasoning on here. I'll rub it in, which is what I like to do. There you go, like that. Uh, and just get it in there, especially if you're doing this, whether it's at home or whether it's at the hunting camp, uh, you know, everybody's going to have the idea about how much spice, right? Mm. Oh, that's not enough for me, you know. That's <laughs> not, oh, you ought to see what we do, right? Well, you come go get your own goose. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then uh, inside the bird, we're going to put a little bit of this, uh, why don't you give me a spoon of that uh, garlic right there, right. right inside. Give me a big chunk, too. Garlic right inside that bird. One, one more, more, one more will be good, and get it all in there. Now what we're going to do is put it into our roasting pan like this. And now you have an option here. You can actually go ahead and sauté it first and brown it nicely mm -hmm. if you want to. That's what a lot of cooks will do. Uh, if it's going into an oven to be baked, it's not necessary that you do that because you're going to get all of that that heat coming down on it's going to brown nice and uh, and and of course uh, uh, it's your choice it's mm -hmm. uh, it, it's the, it's the choice of the hunter so now we're going to go ahead with all of our vegetables let's go ahead. Let, let's do this I'm going to move this out of the way Get a, let's put this bowl here and all mix right. a few of those things together let's go ahead and dump all of that in there onion celery bell pepper garlic carrots carrots is going to add the sweetness to it right there and give me a big chunk of that uh, that garlic right there right. let's get some of that in there uh yeah a little bit give me a better chunk than that better than yeah, that yeah yeah give me give me the rest of that garlic <laughs> give me the rest it. of that garlic come on get let's it go over <laughs> with you're wasting time with a spoon now go ahead and stir that around pretty good right there mix it in good and uh donna also like to season this a lot of people say, are you kidding me? You're going to season the seasoning? Season the seasoning, yeah. You better believe it. This, <laughs> this is hunting camp cooking, y'all. And I mean, uh, uh, it, it, it's exciting to be able to put all of this together. It just, uh, it just enhances the flavor. So absolutely, I'm going to go ahead and you can throw in some of that pepper and garlic. I like to put a lot of the granulated. Now look, this is granulated garlic. See what it is? We can mix that up. You have your little spoon. Mix that up real good. And, uh, seasoned seasoning. See, and yeah, I know. I I no, no, absolutely. And then, of course, I always like it. You know, I, I'm all about color in my cooking as well. So I like to add the colored vegetables, the the the, the, the beautiful uh, uh, colors of all the different seasonings. Because you eat with your eyes first, That's right? True. And look at that. Now you now you know by looking at this. Now that's gonna taste good. I mean, there's no doubt about it. So we're gonna go with that, start that night. Well, I think we have some apples on the board right there somewhere. Some apples. You ready to throw some in? Yep. Uh, apples, of course, is gonna give us some nice sweetening in there. It's gonna give a nice sweet flavor. As the apples cook, they're gonna just let that good apple flavor go into it. 
and birds love this type of seasoning right here. No doubt about it, the flavor of the meat, absolutely. Now, I'm gonna put a nice big chunk in here like that. Get, get that seasoning down in there. Just get it down and put it in. And, the, and just look, is there any doubt that that's gonna taste good? Look at the garlic in there, the, uh, the celery, the onions, uh, and pound it in there with all of that. Now, Don, let's go ahead all the way around the side of this. Let's take some of, some of this, if you bring me the bowl. I'll just, uh, well, let me get mine. There you uh, go. Yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and put more of it on top of that. Look at that. Any doubt that this is gonna be good? Yeah, and, uh, and more fruit, and fruit in season, y'all, whatever it's fruit, whether it's persimmons, whether it's muscadines, whether it's grapes, throw it on in there. All of that sugar is really going to uh, continue to enhance the flavor. So that's what we're going to do. So right here, we're going to go in to an oven about 375 degrees. We can put a little sheet of foil on top of it to keep it from over browning and then at the end you can take it off to finish the browning and it's just going to be a beautiful beautiful centerpiece for the table All absolutely right. nice stick around we'll be right back see to put it, it to the test we're cooking with like. chef john Foles. <laughs> it's holly beach speckle belly goose Ooh, nothing like mm, it. smelling good already well, mm, look. Look. Welcome back. He's all done or she's all done. I'm not sure whether it was a he or a she. And Look how pretty that well, is. Well, and it's all the presentation on the plate, too. I mean, there's an anticipation of what it's going to taste like, what it's going to look like, and then you bring it to the plate. Choose the right bowl, too, y'all. I mean, choose the right plate. There's all kind of nice uh, 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 china or whatever to bring something to the table that just makes it all look better. Look how beautiful that is. Reminds that is me of my pretty. baby picture, y'all. Look like my baby picture. <laughs> <laughs> I think those Canada geese are knocking at the door. They all want to get in on this. It looks oh, so they pretty. Want it. it's, a, it's, a, it's a great, great presentation and a wonderful dish. I just love that goose. Great for holidays. Yeah, absolutely. Holidays. Speckle Belly Goose, Holly Beach style <laughs> with Chef John Foles. <laughs>